welcome to another video. Uh, I need to turn to the sound. Yeah, no, it What? My b I like it. Yeah, it's just, it's just we're gonna get, do so much of it that we're gonna overuse it within the first month, and then we're gonna be tired of it. Like, we overused John Deere in the first two, eight, uh, the first ten, we overused John Deere in the first eleven months of the game, so now we don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I do, but, like, I like that new USAR. We need to get a John Deere farmer, a case farmer, maybe a split between John Deere case and New Holland farm gun. I don't know. We can do a case farm. We, we... What about New Holland with like T8s? Because we haven't done no. that. Yeah. We haven't done that New since. New Holland to me is like the Honda Civic of all cars. Remember the T7s that we used in Lone Oak 17? Yeah. We should really use them. Uh, that's, that's the one part of New Holland I really like. The T7s. T7, T8 is what I used. I think we should get them and then have, like, John Deere case the other equipment. I think case, because we use a lot of John Deere and cloths. Yeah. We do use case, though. We just don't use New Holland, like, ever. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really enjoying this. Hmm? I'm not really enjoying this. To Otherwise, on the first stage of growth, I sprayed weed killer, and then on the second and third, I sprayed more fertilizer. Every time you fertilize, uh, it gives you 25% extra yield. So, if you fertilize, there's four stages. If you fertilize two stages, it'll give you... 150% of yield just from fertilizing. Yeah. But did you, what and did you do? Weed killer. Okay, that would give you like 25%. You have probably about 175%. Yeah. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. Because I, and I do need to plow this yield too. Next harvest. You know, you say this is a small farm, but we own a class Jaguar and the uh, Axirian. Yeah. Mainly because I know I'm going to be pulling big trailers with that. So, and as you can see, I bought the smaller class, um, class Jaguar. Yeah. I could see that, but. Thank you! I think I don't mind playing this sometimes, this map, but yeah. I don't want to play it all the time. <laughs> After we're done with this field, I'm probably going to get off this map. And then we can do uh, Lone Oak. Uh, and then I'll upload this video before we get on Lone Oak. Strobe lights off. <laughs> didn't turn off his strobe lights. You could have them on. It doesn't really hurt to have strobe lights on. Well, what I'm doing it is I'm doing it towards you earlier. I didn't think you were listening now. Oh, yeah. Probably didn't hear you. Is this the only field you own? Yeah. Jeez. Because, Time um, the other two fields were other, well... You need to own a grass field, you know. Yeah, the other two fields. Well, what I'm doing is I'm buying my straw and hay from buy all station. Yeah. I guess you could work your way up to get the 
buy more fields for grass. Yeah. Then you could lease the machinery for grass until you get money. Well, what I'm doing is, I'm thinking about buying that field in front of us. Oh uh, yeah, that, then turning this in the grass? Or that? Yeah. I think yeah, that would be... Yeah, this in the grass, that in the corn for the You know what you, we could do? We could split that field I'm and... Oh, jeez, how... I don't, I don't know how long I've been full for the grass. Oh, jeez. Uh, we should spl if we buy that other field, we should split it in half, put half fit grass, and then the other half, uh, um, put like three quarters of it grass, and then a couple rows of corn, and then have this whole field as corn. Well, I also need to situate my straw problem, too. And we should just keep buying straw for now. Because that's not yeah. that, that's not that expensive. I only paid seven thousand dollars for seventy-five thousand acres. Yeah, so if we get grass problem situated, then that'll save us enough money. I mean, they cost both the same amount, straw and hay. Yeah. Well, that would still cut off some cost. Yeah. And we'd probably have to lease balers and mowers and stuff. I think if we end up getting a baler in this, we should get that cheap little old John Deere one. Yeah. Because I think that one's really cool, but I haven't used it. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Wow. Jeez. And then what I would do is I'd use the auto loader, and I would, I would pick up, like, almost eight or ten square bells at once. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I figured that one out on my Lone Oak map with the cows. Oh, you're doing Lone Oak house? Yeah. That's good. I wish we had more slots. Lone Oak takes a lot of slots itself. Uh -huh. Just uh -huh. the map. It takes a lot of slots. Not everybody wants to do a huge farm in Lone Oak. Oh, yeah. I know they do. Do not. Whatever you do, do not. Did you cut that? Do not place trees. Those take up so much slots. Yeah. You really just gotta deal with that, not having trees in Lone Oak. Can I plant trees and not take slots? I don't know. That's, I think we should do forestry at some point. But, plant, I should, that's a good question. I'm going like this. Oh. Uh, Just so we don't have to turn around as much. Yeah. <laughs> that million mile tundra. Buying a bigger field. Yeah. I'm standing on my rolly dust chair, spinning around. Yeah. Can't can't wait to fall, break my head, break my TV, break my PS4 phone, and have to go to the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> and have nothing left to my name. Give me, give me privileges. Just so I can hire a worker while going down the swaths, but still watch him, obviously. Just closely monitor a worker. There you go. There we go.
The nice thing about workers is they'll stop if the trigger stops. So you won't lose any chaff. He's gonna miss some up here. Yeah, I got it. If he does, he does. Oh well. This must have really good yield. Yeah, that does have really good yield. For a small field, we're getting almost a million liters. You're definitely gonna make enough to sell a good amount. Too bad I don't own biogas. You need to get it. Yeah, I know. The cost. I've never really used. Oh, 500 grand later. Fucking worker. You might have to take out a loan to get it. I just use the money to cheat. No. <laughs> Gotta work our way up in society. Fucking help her, B. You keep driving in front of him. You're pushing him out of the way. <coughs> Bye. I'm gonna say. How full are you? Seventy nine. Here, I'll throw my lights on at eighty five. And flash them on and off when you're full. Or flash your headlights and they're full. I'll flash the headlights when I'm full. <clears throat> I'm driving it right now, by the way. And this is really good yield. Uh -huh. How much how much does that trailer hold? <clears throat> 51,000 liters. Wow. <laughs> Where is the first bunker silo you just filled at? Um, right over there. In front of my house. That's not full, you stupid. No, I it, I know it ain't for. I said I'm gonna try to fill it with the amount of chaff and harvest. I thought you had a full silo before. Oh yeah, full grain silo full of that stuff. Oh, you can put it in the grain silo. Yeah, because it's a multi fruit silo. Idiot. Does that turn it to silage immediately? No. Oh, so you have to take it out and put it in... Yeah, that's why I was just dumping it in the silo, just to get it quick done, done quick. Just dump it in the thing of a bobber. Well, now I have to because the silo is full of chat. Ha! <laughs> Why 
We need to get like a little trailer or something. No, I'll move my massive amounts of silage or chaff with my big Missy 1000 liter trailer. There's an $8,000 trailer that could be a bail loading wagon, a uh, wheat, tra I mean a grain trailer. And it has straps of the bail loading wagon. So? So? You just fucking bought it. <laughs> what the heck? We'll need it. It'll come in handy no, for. We won't. It'll come in we handy. Don't do bells. Well, we will be. No, because I put it. I mix my grain, my TMR in the silo. Cool. Hold on. I use the silo to mix my TMR, so we'll need a loading lab. You're cheating. No, in real life, you can do that. You can't have anything else in the silo. Um. What do you use the milling? Oh, you use the milling machine to pick up the silo, don't the bunker silo? Yeah, That's, because it makes it a lot easier. I'm taking that tractor to get the trailer. Real quick. Alright. That. Axion. We have an Axion and an 8400R. Yep. All duels, I think. Uh, we don't have duels in the Axion. No, I'm talking about the 8R. Oh yeah, you can have straps. So we can get seed here. Easier. It's a lot cheaper to get seed here, and it's not that far of a drive and Use the pallet. Yeah, get seed pallets at the shop because it's cheaper and we can use this trailer. Yeah. We honestly don't really need that fertilizing station if we're going to do that. Uh, no, because I use Big Brew. Oh, Big Brew, that's. Yeah. 375,000 liters of traffic. Why do we have two fertilizer? We don't have two. Five. One's weed killer and one's fertilizer. Oh, well, yeah. Here. You can, um, just start taking combine. Just take the combine loads from the combine. Do we have a workshop at this farm? A what? A workshop? No. Oh, that's a pain. Don't even spend the money. The shop has a workshop. At some point, we're gonna need. There's that. Some point, we're gonna need to add that mod in. There's. I think there's a workshop building that's like four, three or four grand. A mod. Hub. There's one for like that you can pay for like six hundred bucks and have a workshop trigger. Yeah, I would do the like three or four thousand dollar garage one. Because mm. it's at least somewhat realistic. But the shops are neighbors, and we don't have to do labor then, anyways. I mean, when we get it done at our farm, we usually have a shop come and do it, though. Yeah. So it doesn't really change anything. Now the bunker tower is going to get filled up. It just cost it four Not grand really. to get the 12,000 liter capacity put on this trailer. Four grand. Alright. How to get well, the I mean, sides I'm put on. I'm just going to use this tractor and the milling machine to... I know, it would just be nice to have this around. And for seed. Here, you just keep the I'll help you out. Okay. Well, don't come in the silo because I'm in the silo.
This Axion has such a weird motor. It sounds like it has a motor knock. No, it's the <sighs> diesel load to it. It's not like a normal diesel. It's. I mean, I've been boss. I, we have had. We need fuel injector in this thing because uh, we accidentally let water get in the gas tank, but it still runs fine. Yeah. That's probably why it stutters a little bit. It needs a fuel injector. Big uh, my way. I'm almost done. We have plenty of space too. Oh, I know. Hey, Landon. What? You might be surprised, but uh, Monday, I'm uh, getting a tattoo. Idiot. Or I'll at least be getting the design done because I don't know how long the process is to have him do the design. Yeah. Because I'm gonna get one done right on my forearm. So are you taking like a day off work to do that? Uh, I got two days of paid vacation. I originally cut for hunting, but I'm like, eh, why not? I'll, I'll go get a fucking tattoo done. They'll take one day off for hunting and one day for tattooing. I mean, honestly, I can also go hunting in the morning because the guy don't open until 11 a.m. Did you, like, have to call ahead of time? What, for my job? For your tattoo. No. Oh, He's so... Like, just, come in, just come in any time during the day and we can figure it out. I'd like to try, I'm off Monday and Tuesday, so I'd like to try and have my tattoo done before I gotta go to back to work. Yeah, who knows. Perfect timing. Uh-huh. How much of a job do we have in the silo? 176. Probably 100 Man. and... 164 after I'm done. I'm going to be getting a lot of silage in this, but out of this. You realize that's two harvests of chaff, right? Oh, wow. This cloth... Yeah, I put like two chaff harvests in that silo. This cloth harvest... Cloth tractors have weird horns. I like the horn on the, uh, what do you call it, that the, I'm I like Big Zerian's horn. Yeah, I like the one I'm running. It's got air horns on it. Cool. Kill, dude! Kill! In this trail I'm running across cargoes. Yeah, I, I can see that, doofus. <laughs> Thank you for pushing me out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need more seed pallets? Uh, yeah, because I've just been running the seed or buy seed. So I didn't have to worry about filling them up. Just uh, turn that off. And I'll, I'll buy pallets from the shop. If we don't have a pallet fork, I'll buy a pallet fork for the for the we little skid a, steer. We have. A, that's all that is on the skid steer. Yeah, is that it? Um, this that's is my all last. We have on the bobcat. I hate that you call it bobcat. <laughs> a bobcat is a bobcat, not a 
The bobcat is a skid steer. And a skid steer is my bobcat. A bobcat is a bobcat skid steer. <laughs> There's such thing as a bobcat skid steer, but not... They're not all called bobcat. Oh, well. You know what? I'm just gonna call that skid steer that I got at work the case. That we got at work the case because... Is it a case? The one, the one we have at work is a old, old case. You should see how the diesel smoke it and <laughs> it, Well, the thing is that the skid that bobcat is old. Yeah. And... Case? When you first... When you first started up, that case you made blows like a grayish white, black, well, grayish white smoke, diesel smoke. Jeez. And all you can smell is the diesel just burn. I gotta pick up the fuel injector boss in the shop too for this Xerian. Hmm. Xerian. Axion. That, well, the Xerion does need um, oil change and a few things done to it, but it doesn't yeah. need... It needs tire rotations and a few things, but that yeah, doesn't need that. Yeah. Alright, give me another trailer for a chair. I'm thinking about adding a silo extension to silo. I think for now we're good. Yeah, for now, yeah. Because we can always put the chaff in the bunker when we're full. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we probably should just put it straight out into the bunker. Alright, the silo is empty of chaff. That's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, bye.